In today's video, I'm taking you on a massive supermarket tour in India. Lulu Mall Bengaluru just recently opened and I spent two hours roaming all the aisles, but honestly, I could have easily stayed for two more. From puja items to the best rice and even vegan food, without further ado, let me show you how amazing this place is and what all you can find here. Welcome to the first Lulu Mall in Bangalore. Hi, my name is Ivana and I've been living in Bangalore, India now for four years. I have been to Lulu Mall in Kochi and I love that one. Lulu Mall Kochi holds the title of the largest mall in India and now recently the mall also opened in Bangalore with a massive hypermarket. The mall is so big that I actually couldn't even include it in this video because it would have been too long. Just know that the mall is situated in Rajajinagar and that there is free parking. So if you're coming by car, you don't have to worry about the parking space. In today's video, however, I am only taking you to the hypermarket because like I already mentioned, it is massive. I easily spent two hours here because they have everything from blankets to kitchen utensils up to a massive health and beauty department. You can find anything and anything here. It could easily be a store on its own, I have to say. What I really enjoyed uh, were the Indian beauty brands. As you can see here, um, there are a lot of hair oils and also some Ayurveda hair care, but also some Indian digestives. Of these, Hajmola is super, super famous. This pomegranate flavor, the pink one, is one of my favorites. The orange one is the classic flavor. If you're a foreigner, really, you should do this it's an adventure <laughs> and then the purple one is the tamarind flavor what i really love about this place is that they also have famous foreign brands like this coconut sugar scrub do know that i think it's at least 20 to 30 percent more expensive than what you would find abroad but i like the fact that they have it and there are a lot more brands international brands that you can find here as well one indian brand that i really really love is plum it is vegan uh, as per my knowledge and they have some really really nice products for all my beauty lovers this section is a paradise i could have easily spent two hours here just exploring all these lip balms like what look how many they have and then these lotions i need to go back and smell that mango melon lotion because i forgot to do that my first impression of the supermarket and the mall it is massive and i'm so excited because i haven't been in a supermarket in years, that's not a joke, in years. Thank you COVID for that. One of my favorite things when I'm traveling is to explore supermarkets. So I'm very, very excited to start the tour of this Lulu hypermarket actually right here behind me at the Puja Artifacts. Hinduism is the largest religion in India with almost 80% of the Indians identifying as Hindu. Puja literally means the act of worship and is an important practice in Hinduism and Buddhism. So doing Puja is basically worshiping the gods and there are certain items that you need for that. There are many items and I am really not sure about uh, what they all are for, but I definitely do know that you know, lamp oil is part of it because you need a light. And then also over here, oh, what is all this? Okay, we, uh, incense sticks are also definitely part of it. Wow, we got pineapple incense sticks, that's fancy. Oh my goodness, so many incense sticks. If you like incense, then this is definitely your section. And then, yeah, for the puja, guys, please help me out who are performing puja, I know. These are kind of powders that you may have to put on your forehead. Oh, this is Haldi, which is turmeric. And then this is Kumkum, I don't know. Oh, Vermilion. This is also um, the powder that, um, that married women um, wear on their forehead. These are the DL lights. So for the tea lights with the oil, you combine it to, you know, um, to make a little light fire, actually. Comfort we have over here oh and these are like pure um so this is ghee which is clarified butter and then you have um yeah basically you can also burn it as a dia there you go for worshiping of the gods this is oh okay now i know this is for the dia so basically you put the oil in here and then a little light and then this becomes a flame yeah awesome I love this. So you can just find that in the supermarket over here. 
this section you will see as soon as you enter the supermarket i guess it must be bestsellers because there were so many random things on the shelves next to each other i mean look at the chips the peanut butter and then the cereals i don't know it doesn't really make sense <laughs> however i decided to grab the peanut butter crunchy because i love it where is my crunchy peanut butter gang let me know down in the comments below there was also ghee here which is clarified butter a staple in indian cuisine and tropical fruits jams in massive massive jars and it says grandma's jam mango i actually should have gotten that one but i don't eat that many jams however i do love living in a country where tropical fruits are the standard in the netherlands mostly apples and oranges are oh my gosh comparing apples and oranges whatever <laughs> mostly apples and oranges are the staple so that's the kind of fruits that i'm used to oh and this snack cluster beans I just grabbed it and it wasn't good. <laughs> this Lulu hypermarket even has a dog section and I ended up buying dog collars for the street dogs in my society. But then I actually got obsessed at the rice section because they had so much different varieties of rice. We have reached the rice section and it is massive. You can try so many different rices here. One type of rice that I just recently discovered, let me be that homie auntie to recommend you the rice. <laughs> Um, this one, this green one from, is it from India Gate or is it from Dava? I think it's from, oh wait, no, this is a wrong one. Got it, this is the correct one. Dawat, Rosanna, Basmati rice, gold. Pay attention to the gold. Oh my God, this rice is so good. Trust me, try this rice and your life will be changed. I mean, if you're living in India for this long, I've lived here for four years, and you eat rice almost every single day, then you start getting fussy about your rice, and then you understand that this is an amazing rice. I love it. The rice section actually is also super interesting because you can also see different shapes and types of rice. For instance, these flattened rice flakes are used in the Indian breakfast dish poha. And yeah, I didn't know what it was when I saw it for the first time. And that's kind of how we learn and get to try new things, right? That's why I love lo roaming supermarkets because you just get to see new things and then you can try them afterwards. For instance, Maggi noodles with milk. If you haven't tried that yet, then then can recommend it. There's a huge section with foreign food, so a lot of types of pasta. And then also the meat and fish section is separated from all the other foods in order, you know, to keep it as hygienic as possible. And especially as a vegetarian, I find that quite comfortable. This is another breakfast favorite, which is puttu. It originates from Kerala and you have many different varieties of it. Actually, this whole section is Indian breakfast foods and I would 10-10 recommend you to check it out. Especially these MTR small bags are ideal if you're living alone. The hypermarket is set up in a large way. That's why I keep using the word massive. Honestly, look how wide these aisles are and it's just so comfortable while living in these COVID times. When I shared the first stories on my Instagram that I visited this hypermarket, I already got some DMs of people who were raving about the freshness of the fruit and vegetables. As it is still strawberry season in India, I had to grab these. The candy section, like all the other sections, of course, had also to be massive. <laughs> I really, really enjoyed uh, exploring all the chocolates here i loved seeing the traditional indian candy which is the um, orange bites but especially the mango bites these are very very traditional indian i saw a good deal on these cappuccino candies look at the price 35 rupees instead of 50 oh yeah i'm definitely taking this with me then also they had something else that i haven't seen before snickers with a butterscotch flavor and also snickers with kesar pista which is saffron and pistachio and i had to try that next to high street chocolate they also had a section with designer chocolate so the fancy ones i loved seeing my favorite chocolates from indian origin here paul and mike 1010 would recommend you to try these not just because they have a chocolate named balkan rose 
and I'm born in the Balkans, but it's genuinely, genuinely really good. They had actually also, I think 20 rupees discount on these. So of course I had to buy this one. The further back I moved into the hypermarket, the more my findings became obscure. No, I don't mean paneer. Of course, paneer is normal, but then they had a whole dairy section with dairy-free cheese called cheese. I'm intrigued. And then I even ended up finding tempeh, tempeh in india oh my gosh so this is originally an indonesian food and i'm so happy that they have it in india now as well this is the ice cream section where one day i still hope to find either paneer ice cream or ben and jerry's somebody please invent paneer ice cream and somebody please import ben and jerry's ice cream in india i don't know why they are not here however what you can find are a lot of frozen indian foods like for instance paratas and then as you can see there is a whole bakery section which really really made me drool i mean look at this crazy assortment of donuts and everything looked super fresh you can even buy fresh cakes here and again it is set up so wide so there's plenty of space for everybody to walk around and you can even make your own fresh fruit salad here like what oh by the way i bought this date lassi which is the first date lassi that i have tried in my life 10 10 would recommend by the way is 40 rupees expensive for this i don't know i just wanted to try it there's also a hot food section where again the veg and the non-veg food is separated and there is also a chat and snack section and if you thought that was crazy you can actually find a lot of household items here from cooking pots which are you know stainless steel and keep your food warm to whole sets of crockeries and this blue set actually looked really pretty but how am i going to bring that home it is massive <laughs> honestly anything that you might need in your household from you know barbecues to cleaning utensils to laundry baskets you can all find it here they actually even had a section with scented candles which is not common in india so i was very very happy to see that and something else that i also really really enjoyed seeing was the stationery section currently at the stationery section and i am losing my mind india doesn't really have a stationery culture yet the most cute stationery that you can find is usually on amazon or like some online shops but i always do feel that the prices are quite high here as you can see there's like so many notebooks really really cute ones look at this this is cute this is cute i love this oh my gosh i'm losing my mind they have very basic ones too, but they also have cute ones and it makes me so happy. <laughs> After being exposed to so many new things in a supermarket for almost two hours, I promise you that not just mine in a hoarder, but also your inner hoarder will get completely on the loose. I was even looking into arts and crafts. I never do arts and crafts, but this looked so cute. And then there are so many notebooks. Again, this is a section where I could easily spend two hours on its own literally looking at every single notebook that i have i mean oh pretty blue color oh let me look at it why is there a parka logo on it i don't know anyways these towels are actually really really good so if you're in the home section would recommend these towels because they were only 100 rupees from what i can see and again the inner hoarder in me speaking to you look at these stunning stunning beauty candles beauty candles birthday candles like how cute is this is it my birthday already not yet only in may but do i want birthday candles yes by now i want all of the birthday candles well i just finished my first shopping session here at lulu mall in bangalore the first mall with the hypermarket behind me it was really fun i ended up shopping way too much but i'll actually maybe film a separate video about that. Have you been to this mall before? Have you been to a Lulu mall before? Let me know down in the comments below. Also, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to put a thumbs up, share it with as many people as possible so they can come over here and enjoy it themselves. You can also consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and joining 250,000 subscribers. It's free and you'll get a notification whenever I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.